Welcome to Strip Trivia, I'm Rachel. We're not trivia buffs, but we are in the buff. Today, we've got six categories, geography, entertainment, arts and literature, science, history, and sports and leisure, as well as 10 articles of clothing on. For every question you miss, you lose an item of clothing. The game ends when one guy ends up naked. Today's cheat is easy mode, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And today's loser has to respond to our Strip Trivia YouTube comments. Daniel, are you ready? Okay. Let's go, bitch. First up is geography. Question one. Daniel, which type of ecosystem are treeless regions found in the Arctic and on top of mountains? Is it tundra, savanna, or steppe? Okay, uh, tundra, uh, I don't think it's on top of mountains. So I would say step. Is that your final answer? Should it not be? I don't know how much hinting we should be doing. <laughs> I think these are going to be easier questions. Let's just go with my, uh, my first answer. It's not right. It's tundra. It is tundra? Yeah. I didn't think that was uh, on top of mountains, though. Well, you didn't think right. I guess not. Okay, um... I'll take off my, uh, I don't know. I'll take off my uh, hat. All right. Question two. Which is not part of the United Arab Emirates? Jordan, Dubai, or Al-Fujirai? Al-Fujira. Al-Fujira. Uh, Jordan's not. It's its own thing. Yeah, it's a country in its own right. Yeah. Robusta and Arabica are common varieties of what type of bean? Coffee. Yeah. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Question four. Name three of the five African nations whose names include the letter Z. Okay. Um, Mozambique. Oh, that's a good one. Zimbabwe. Yes. Um, what's the other? Uh, 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 Tanzania. Yeah, good. All right. You also have Zambia and Swaziland. Okay, your last question. What is the name of the currency of China? Oh, it's a yen. Ruble, renminbi, or dollar? Wait, what? Let me let me see this written out. Oh, I thought it was the yen, but maybe that's, that's Japanese yen. Um, I think it's the dollar. No, sorry, it's renminbi. Oh. It says won is a unit of renminbi currency. Oh yeah, the won. Um, haven't you asked me that one before and I got it wrong? Mm, I don't know this. Question. I thought that was on from the Jeopardy game. There was a currencies category. I've never heard of it. And I said yen again that time, too. I've never heard of these two. So. Okay. Um, um, so what's it going to be? Um, I'll take off a sock. Okay, well, you're up. Let's see how well you do. Question one. In which South American country is Angel Falls? Argentina, oh. Venezuela, or Chile? Hmm. Mm. Argentina sounds right. Angel Falls, Chile, Argentina, or what? Venezuela. Or Venezuela. Brazil sounds the most right, but it's not on there. Argentina. It's Venezuela. Dang. What will right be? out the gates, my hat. <laughs> I missed my first question, too, so you're in good company. Question two. In which country would you traditionally order bird's nest soup? China, Mexico, or France? China. I know that because of... Trivia HQ. Oh, yeah. They always have bird nest soup. Uh, question three. In what U.S. park can you look at an Alice in Wonderland statue and read lines from the poem Jabberwocky? Hmm. So there's no multiple choice? Um, no. Is it in New York? Yeah. Central Park? Yeah, that's the one. Um, philanthropist George de la Corte commissioned the sculpture for his wife in 1959. Okay, next question. Haiti and the Dominican Republic are the only two autonomous Caribbean countries to share a landmass. True or false? Okay, that's... I'm going to go true. That is true. Okay, your last question. What is traditionally broken at the end of a Jewish wedding? A plate, a glass, or a mirror? A glass. Mazel tov. That didn't feel like geography. No, it's more culture, I guess. That's going to end round one. Let's move on. Welcome back to Strip Trivia, the show we're running out of segues for. As it stands right now, Daniel has eight items of clothing and I have nine. We don't have to rub it in. The entertainment category is next. 
Okay, Daniel, question one. On what television series did The Simpsons debut as animated shorts? What television series did they debut as animated shorts? I never heard that before. Um, uh, I've never heard this in my life. Well, it's on Fox, right? Um, and they debuted on a television series? I really don't know this. Okay, let me just give you a Saturday hint. Night Live it has on someone's different. name in the title. I think I'm going to use my uh, cheat. I'm going to go easy mode with this one. Okay. What was the answer? The Tracy Ullman Show. Okay. Which way is a TV screen size measured? Vertically, horizontally, or diagonally? Diagonally. Why do you know that, Daniel? Because I was a Circuit City sales associate in the television department when I was right. at the ripe age of 18. All right, good job. What Hollywood Film Studios logo is a mountain surrounded by 22 stars? Paramount. I spent my summers at Kings Island. I know. Okay, question three. The birth name of Superman is Cal L. True or false? I thought that was Clark Kent. I mean, I don't know. I, I'll just say f it's almost always true. <laughs> I'm going to say false, though. Always true. Oh, come on. <laughs> I guess it says the birth name. I guess that's why. That's why I figured it was some sort of little trick in there. But I just had to know with, I had to go with the one thing I know, which. Okay. I guess um, incorrect. What's it gonna be? Yeah, I'll take off my other sock. Question four: What sci-fi TV series includes the regular characters, Jordy, Data, and Worf? Oh. Sci-fi TV series. It's one of those Star Trek ones. My dad, we used to watch it. I think it's um, Star Trek Next Generation. Yeah. The Next Generation. Yeah. All right. Question five. Marianne Cotillard won an Academy Award for portraying French singer Edith Piaf. True or false? I do, I do think she won an Academy Award. I was going to say true because it's always true. It's always true. The film was La Vie en Rose. Okay. That's it. That's it for your All right. category. You're up next. What fictional mineral was sought by the sky people in Avatar? Oh, I don't know. Are there choices? No. <laughs> I don't remember. Do you want to use a cheat or you just want to pass? I am i can't think of it. I'll pass. It's unobtainium. Oh, I feel like I've heard of that. Question, okay. question two. Or wait, wait what are you going to take off? Okay, sh I have a lot of shorts on, so I'm going to go with shorts. All right. Question two. What country did Angelina Jolie's first adopted child, Maddox, come from? China is the obvious. Almost, almost too obvious. But you haven't given me any hints really, so I'm not really going to return the favor. Okay, okay. Um, so not China. Korea, South Korea. Final answer? Sure. No, it's Cambodia. Okay. What's coming off? Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, I'll do another pair of shorts. All right. Tied up at seven. What classic record label boasted the acts Diana Ross and the Supremes, Marvin Gaye, and the Jackson 5? I don't know. You it, do know it. Motown? Motown. Yeah, Motown. All right. Your next question. Whose debut album was Greetings from Asbury Park, NJ? Is that Springsteen? Bruce. You're going to spring steam from your ears when you find out who it is. Springsteen. Okay. Yeah, it's Springsteen. Okay, your last question. What is the actress Emma Roberts' relationship to Julia Roberts? Oh, what? They're all related. I didn't know they were related. Uh, I guess a niece? Nepo baby. Yeah. She's Julie Roberts' niece, yeah. All right, we are tied up and moving on to round three. Welcome back to Strip Trivia, the show that's like a fine wine and that most people don't know anything about it. As it stands right now, Daniel and I both have seven items of clothing left. Up next is the history category. Daniel, question one. What is it that those who cannot remember are condemned to repeat? 
uh, maybe the category's namesake, history. That was such a gimme. Let's <laughs> consider that one a, a, a hint. That's like, that was already in easy mode. All right, question two. What calendar system preceded the Gregorian calendar? Um, Different than you'd think. There's the Roman, the Mayan, the... Um, I think it's the, I'm just going to say the Roman, Roman. No, but it probably has something to do with that. It's the Julian calendar. Oh, Julius Caesar. Orange, Ju orange Julian. What's it going to be? Let's <laughs> take off my sweatshirt. Okay, question three. On what continent would you find the cradle of humankind known for its famous archaeological finds? I mean, that sounds like it'd be in Africa. I think I'd have to say Africa. Yeah. It's Africa. Okay, question four. What legendary sunken island was first mentioned in the works of Plato? Atlantis? Yeah. Elvis Presley wrote to President Richard Nixon suggesting that he be made a federal agent at large. True or false? Always true. It's true. Oh, boy. Is that, is that all of them? Yeah. That's all it. right, cool. You're up next. Question one. Who replaced Kofi Annan as Secretary General of the United Nations in 2007? I don't know. How about history is... <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit harder than my first question. Doomed to repeat itself. Do you want to switch to easy mode on this one? Sure. All right. Easy mode's coming up. Which Greek's body was invincible except for his foot? Achilles, Hercules, or Hector? Achilles. Yeah, well, good, good old Hector's heel. Thanks for the <laughs> multiple choice. Yeah, no worries. Okay, moving on. Who was George W. Bush's running mate in the 2000 elections? 2000? That was uh, against uh, Al Gore. And Bush. Oh, wait. Oh, 2000. Oh. I don't know. Does it say it's a multiple Well, choice? think about it. George Bush won, so who was his vice president? In 2000? When we were in fifth grade? Hmm. Oh, was that Dick Cheney? Yeah, Dick Cheney. Yeah, Dick Cheney. He was uh, there both times. Next question. In which year was the word internet coined? 1974, 82, or 95? Well, before 95, probably. They were working on the internet in the 70s. I've got a poker face. I know. Just You're not even looking at me. Just look at my face. In the 70s, they were working on the internet. They were working on computers for sure. Okay, what's your answer? 74, 82, or 95? Those are very different. That's a big span. 70. The A. 74? Yeah. Correct. Okay, next question. What Norse god is commemorated in the name of Thursday? Thursday, the day? Thursday? Like the English word Thursday? Or like... Yeah, yeah. Thur... Thur... Thor? Mm-hmm. Next question. The historical North American territory of Acadia belonged to Spain. True or false? True. Always false. It's false? <laughs> it belonged to France and included parts of the eastern coast of modern Canada. There's like 2% of them that are false, and yeah, I got it. it. Gotcha. So what's I coming should, off? I should play the lottery. <laughs> what's coming off is a sock. All righty. That uh, will take you out of the round. We'll move on. Welcome back to Strip Trivia, the show that beat out Caller Daddy and the Joe Rogan experience for most listened to by my mom. As it stands right now, Daniel and I both have six items of clothing left. What's up? Up next is arts and literature. Question one, Daniel. What is the name for the short sheaths at the end of shoelaces? Aglet, the she barrel, the sheaths? or holster? The sheaths. Those are aglets. Yeah. Does that sound like arts or literature to you? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's like uh, just like words, so you, they threw it in the literature category. All right, question two. Which is not a vocal part in an all-male barbershop quartet, baritone lead or alto? I think alto's, well, I haven't heard of lead. I would say lead. It's actually alto. Alto's too high. The four parts are bass, baritone, lead, and tenor. Okay, they're throwing me off there. I'll take off my, uh, my uh, sweatpants. Which of the following types of theater is not Japanese? No, 
Kathakali or Kabuki? Right, the only one I've heard of is Kabuki. Can I see them written down? No, N O H, Kathakali with a K or Kabuki. I would say Kathakali sounds the least Japanese. That's correct. It's actually a form of Indian dance drama. I was going to say it sounded Indian. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay, next question. What museum was the setting for Ben Stiller's film, A Night at the Museum? <sighs> That's the Smithsonian, the Natural History Museum. What's the museum? The Museum of Natural History. Yeah, the American Museum of Natural History. I'll give it to you. Paper mache means chewed up paper in French. True or false? Um, I'm Always true. Let's go. True. It's true. And that's it. Sweet. Okay, you're up. In which New York newspaper did Candace Bushnell's column, Sex in the City, originally appear? Did New York Daily News, New York Post, or New York Observer? Um, I was going to say the Post the whole time. The Observer sounds more right. Hmm. What will it be? The Post. The Observer. Ugh. What's going on? Ugh. Another sock. All right. Your next question, which of the following is not a romance language? Greek, Italian, or Romanian? Okay, I, I was going to confidently say Greek, but yeah, Greek. Yeah, it's Greek. Um, okay, next. Who composed the opera The Marriage of Figaro? I don't really know composers that well. I know Vivaldi. Who's more famous than Vivaldi? Beethoven. Let's hold, up, hold for the siren. I don't think Beethoven did operas. Who is more famous than Beethoven? I don't know anybody more famous than Beethoven. <laughs> sure you do. You think you know somebody more famous than Beethoven? Absolutely. The most Name famous. one guy. <laughs> it's the most famous composer of all. I don't know who's more famous than Vivaldi and Beethoven. <laughs> Vivaldi. Uh, I feel like Vivaldi is like top 10. I feel like it comes three. up on Jeopardy all the time. Well, he's a deeper cut. Um, bigger than Beethoven. And <laughs> Handel. <laughs> his, his first name is that of a CNN anchor. Wolf. Wolfgang. Mm -hmm. Wolfgang. Amadeus? Puck. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you got Wolfgang Amadeus, but you don't know his last name. He's literally the most famous composer who ever lived. Wolfgang Amadeus. Isn't that enough? Wolfgang Amadeus. That feels like enough. <laughs> I need his last name. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I don't have anything that comes under yes, Amadeus in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> name... Don't think hard. There's Beethoven and who? I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do. I really don't know. You really do. I, I thought that Wolfgang You're was a... You're going to feel silly when I tell you this answer. Chef, I didn't even know <laughs> that was in my brain as a composer. <laughs> Wolfgang, I'm This is like when you spent 10 minutes trying to think of Bob Dylan. No, I knew that one. I don't know composers. Yes, you do know no, this I one. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Amadeus? <laughs> I don't know anybody named Amadeus. <laughs> You're gonna feel, I don't. No, I don't. It's not like so I'm like silly. looking my brain for it. I don't know it. You're gonna feel so silly. I don't know composers. You know this, <laughs> this composer. It's not obvious to me. Starts with an M. Mozart. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> that one. Whew. Okay. I guess you get credit for that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What is Atticus Finch's profession in To Kill a Mockingbird? He's a lawyer. All righty. I think this was your last one now. Thank goodness. Which items are melting in Salvador Dali's 1931 painting, The Persistence of Memory? Watches, necklaces, or spoons? Watches. Yeah. All right. Let's I get out of here. I thought it was clocks. Yeah, I, thought, I did too. Welcome back to Strip Trivia, the show you shared with all of your coworkers because you're the office tastemaker. As it stands right now, we each have five items of clothing left. Up next is the science and nature category. Question one. Daniel, a golden doodle is a cross between a Labrador and a poodle. True or false? False. It's a golden retriever and a poodle. Yeah. 
Question two, what number do the opposite sides of a standard die add up to? Uh, oh. Seven. Oh, that's so fun. Did you know that? Um, I don't, I think maybe once upon a time and then I forgot it and then I just know six and one are opposite each other, so. What is a collet? Grain fed to cows, glass prepared for recycling, or dryer lint? How do you spell it? C-U-L-L-E-T. Grain fed to cows sounds like a, they're just trying to trip you up. It's like c- cud mixed with um, something mullet. that sounds like gr- grains. Yeah. <clears throat> mullet. Um, that does sound like the most likely, but um, I think it's probably not that then. And then it's gra- glass for recycling. Glass prepared for recycling or dryer lint. I'll go with glass prepared for recycling. That's correct. All right. Okay, next question. Which of the following is not a real animal? Cookie cutter shark, poison dart frog, or smiling platypus? I think it's a the cookie cutter shark. Cookie cutter shark. Yeah, I think there, there's a... I think it's a cookie cutter shark. Sorry. Mm, it's a platypus? Smiling platypus. I never heard of the cookie cutter. What's it gonna be? I'll take out a pair of shorts. What Canadian body of water, when frozen, is known as the world's largest skating rink? Oh, that's uh, I imagine that's where we went. Uh, there's Moraine Lake and Lake Louise. I think it's Lake Louise. I'm gonna tell you. So I'm gonna stop you right there. It's a canal. A canal? Yeah. A canal. I don't know Canadian canals. Starts with an R. Have you heard of this? No. Great. Um, it's kind of French in nature. I was figuring something like French. I have no guess, I guess. It says the Rideau Canal. Ride, Rideau. How do you spell Rideau it? Rideau Canal. R-I-D-E-A-U. Rideau All right, well, canal. never heard of that. I guess I'll take off my other pair of shorts. You're up. Question one. A dog's nose creates prints that can identify it, similar to human fingerprints. True or false? That's definitely true. Alrighty, you're definitely correct. The number 500 is expressed with which Roman numeral? M, D, or C? D. Yeah, you're good at your Roman numerals. We had to do them so much. Mm, They don't really come into play that often, except for around Super Bowl time. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN, C-E-R-N, was built to try to recreate the conditions of what scientific theory? Collider? So... Something with force? Yeah. Um... I don't know what the theory is. You've definitely heard of this one. I don't know. You gave me a lot what's, of help in the last time. What's the scientific theory you've heard of? Just name one. E equals MC squared. The theory of relativity? The theory of... Don't start with the theory of. That would be incorrect. <laughs> I'll lead you down the wrong path. There is theory in the name, but it comes at the end. The theory... No. no. Something theory? Sure. Force. Force theory. All right, Newton, is that your final answer? No. Yeah, just you gave me help before, so I don't want to keep pushing it. Okay. It's the Big Bang Theory. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to recreate the Big Bang. <clears throat> All right. What's coming off? Okay. My hoodie. All right. Your next question. Which of the following animals gives birth instead of laying eggs? Whale, ostrich, or platypus? Okay, it's the whale. Yeah. Your last question of the round. What color does litmus paper turn when it comes into contact with an acid? Well, like I was saying yellow, but that feels... It's not extreme enough. There's, there's um, you know, at both ends of the spectrum, there are these other colors. So <clears throat> yellow would not be an extreme enough. Red. You know. Yeah, it's red. Welcome back to Strip Trivia. This show, our dogs can stop snoring through. As it stands right now, I have four items of clothing left and Daniel has three. 
Up next is the sports and leisure category. Daniel, first question. In golf, how many strokes below par constitutes a condor? Two, four, or six? I've never heard of a condor. Okay, well, I thought par wouldn't be so high. So, like, I feel like you couldn't even be six under par. Four also seems like, I thought par was usually like par three, par four. I thought that was pretty common. Um, two under par, it's probably like an, a different bird. I would say four. That's correct, four. I'm not a golf guy, obviously. Okay, question two. Fish scales are the main ingredient of tara masalata. True or false? How could you eat that? But we usually say always true, so I'll say true. It's actually false. Yeah, I mean, that just sounds inedible. Tara masalata is based on fish roe, which is eggs. Okay, well, I'm glad people aren't just eating the majority of fish scales. I'll take off um, a t-shirt. Okay, right. next up. What world-ranked Spanish tennis player is coached by his uncle? Um, maybe... Maybe Nadal? Yeah, what's his name? Rafael Nadal? Yeah, his uncle is Tony. All right. You're crazy. <laughs> On what type of bars do male gymnasts compete? <clears throat> There's parallel bars. Is it that simple? Yeah. Parallel bars? Yeah. All right. What is it called when you score three goals in a hockey game? Hat trick. Yeah, that's it. Sweet. All right, let's see if this can uh, take you down. Cause, it's uh, going to take me down. You have four articles of clothing left. I have two. Um, so let's see if you can miss four of these. Juniper berries are usually used to flavor whiskey. True or false? False. Yeah, that's gin. Coffee can be made from processed droppings of civet cats. Civet cats. True or false? I don't know what that means. Droppings of cats? I mean, I don't you know. You make coffee from cat droppings? I guess so. I'm going to go true because always true. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, Kopi Luwak is a highly expensive coffee made from beans found in civet droppings. Gross. Next question. So far, you're not missing these. But they haven't been sports. So, in 2010. I'm pretty good at leisure. <laughs> in 2010. What Grand Slam tournament hosted the world's longest tennis match lasting over 11 hours? Like Wimbledon? Mm-hmm. Like I just have to name a, a tennis? Wimble yeah. Wimbledon. Yeah, it's Wimbledon. That's the only tennis thing I know. Okay, what is nori, the traditional wrapping of sushi, made from? Rice, miso, or seaweed? Okay, I was going to say seaweed. Yeah. Hmm, you got lucky here with only two sports questions. Your last question, how old was Mike Tyson when he became the youngest man ever to win a heavyweight boxing title? 18, 20, or 22? Okay, how about 18? 22. What's going off? Oh, just another sock. I have two sets of socks on, so. All right, at the end of all of our rounds... I have two articles of clothing left. You have three. Okay, here's what I'm going to say about that. I feel like you gave me way more help than I gave you. We'll let the audience uh, weigh in. Yeah. <laughs> weigh in in the comment section. Oh, I should drink water. I need to drink water. Okay. You go drink water. I'll go respond to a oh. bunch of YouTube comments that say, WTF, did I just watch? Wait, here, I have a thing to take us out. Before we go, I just wanted to reread one of our five-star reviews because we don't have any other new ones so that you might feel pressured to leave one as well. Cal Avery writes, Perfect. Love the dry humor and listening to Imagine Nudity as I get smarter. Five stars. Thanks, Cal. Pervert. 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 You can use any of those. <laughs> and cut. Strip Trivia is written, recorded, and produced by us, Rachel Galata and Daniel Enskeep. You can find out more about us online under the name Mango Street Lab. That's all for this one. We'll see you next time.